Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, let's get into your reading. This is a Virgo reading, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And uh, please do hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my readings and enjoy the channel. And I will be here on Sunday going forward, March 19th, to do a mini Q&A readings. Okay, I'll be live, so do check that out. Okay, so Virgo, you're starting with heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Okay, let's see what else is going on for March 2023. Okay, you have abundance though. Keeping a positive mindset, manifesting exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So Virgo, it feels to me like there's somebody here. Um, as we're looking at, of course, it's a love reading. It could be both of you as well, but there's, there's, an, there's an energy here of um, sadness. Okay, there's a separation. Um, there's a heartbreak situation. Someone feels deeply hurt, um, yet is still keeping a positive mindset, um, and is also so it's very balanced. Actually, it feels like someone is, um, you know, you or and another person finding the bliss, looking at the silver lining, being grateful for perhaps the time you had together. Um, while still mourning the loss of some type of a relationship and also maybe keeping a positive mindset that things can heal now let's take a look and see what else is going on here virgo what else does virgo need to know okay okay there's seduction okay hmm. affection flirting dating getting together um virgo i feel like okay so if it sounds like you know what i'm hearing here is that there's some kind of a separation or a breakup i do feel like there's a very strong attraction to two people here and um this positive mindset is kind of like somebody is here like okay this is you know this is what's happening right now we're in separation uh, my heart is broken um feeling lost without virgo i'm still very attracted keeping a positive mindset that things will heal or things will get better um virgo it feels like an energy of someone not giving up on you and you not giving up on them i feel like the term they're giving me is there's a blip in the radar right now you guys have hit a speed bump pretty mighty big speed bump okay there's an energy here possibly some lessons needing to be learned between you and this other person okay look staying optimistic about love i mean hmm okay we're going to some of you are trying to have new love in your life but look there's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming in here virgo it feels like there's definitely like a timeout where two people are um, reflecting, okay? Yet trying to stay positive, okay? There's lessons being learned here. Um, they just gave me the phrase, access means contempt, time apart, gives people space and an energy and a, a time away from each other to reflect on their own behavior in a relationship okay or in a particular relationship sorry or in past relationships all right let me get into more of this reading to see what else is going on here because i get a sense that there's one or two people here who do not want to give up a relationship here okay the high priestess this is an energy of intuitively reflecting on feelings um staying silent so there is definitely silence between two people. There's there's a lack of communication, but this silence is being used appropriately is how I feel. This time out, um, going within, opening up those secrets, revealing things, being revealed to the self. Okay, let me see. What else? What are the secrets? What are the hidden, the underlying thing? Oh my gosh. 
um, there's a recognition here of true love. So Virgo, like I said, you know, the roles can be reversed, but somebody here is recognizing that either I, I, it's it for some of you, this is a recognition of a soulmate or a twin flame connection, but either way, someone here is reflecting or looking back, but also going within with a high priestess. And saying, at least saying to themselves or acknowledging to themselves that they were a match for each other. They were a beautiful, beautiful, connected couple here. And I also feel like someone is coming to terms with and realizing that there is true love here. Okay? Not just attraction, not just hooking up, not just temptations or anything like that, but there is a deep love here. Two people who truly loved each other. This person, if it's your person, is realizing how much you truly did love them. And if it's you, it that energy playing out for you in March. Okay, let me see what else is going on here. And I feel like someone is also secretly wanting like right i don't want to say secretly it's just that they're talking to themselves and saying to themselves it's time i make a decision to come into union and partnership with my true love okay that's a beautiful message let me see what else is going on here okay all right Ten of Wands. No more struggle. I'm hearing. This was a gift. This was a gift. Somebody coming to terms and realizing. But they're like, I feel like this person or you, both of you are, are alone right now. Kind of like thinking about each other is the energy that I'm getting here. In secret, not uh, like n neither one of you knows that the other is thinking about the other in in this lover's way, in this deeply loving way. Okay, and definitely, as far as the other person goes, that's how they're thinking. That's what they're feeling about you. I mean, Virgo, this person loves you. They do. They just. You are the one for them with the lovers. You are their true love. A match made in heaven. The angels brought you together for some purpose. Why did Virgo and this person have this split? Why was there this heartbreak and this, this separation? Oh, okay. There might have been a third party or... Um, temptations that were acted upon or um, maybe gossip, other interference, other people interfering or a lack of support. Okay. What's this heart to heart conversation going to be about? Okay. Well, you have the King of Swords, so there's going to be some truth. Let me see. Definitely a conversation, a truthful conversation. And we do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Oh, and also King of Wands. King of Swords and the King of Wands. So there may be some truth, a heart-to-heart -heart coming out about... Um, well, for some of you, a connection... There might have been, um, I, I'm not seeing cheating, but I am seeing a lot of flirting and seduction with others or another person. So when I say third party interference, you know, um, there might have been an element of disloyalty. Either someone was accusing someone of that or found out about that. But I feel like there's going to be some truthful conversation about somebody's actions that they took a heart to heart always represents honestly discussing feelings with each other i feel like somebody's going to show up here there's going to be a conversation 
about the separation, about the hurt, about a sense of maybe infidelity or a lack of loyalty, but also some truth bombs being dropped about how much love there is still here between two people. And I feel like there's an opening up. Somebody here is really hopeful, Virgo, um, has a very positive mindset about you um, and is hoping they'll be able to have a conversation with you to talk with you about some things that have happened in the past to clear the air, come clean, um, open up, reveal, reveal that maybe there was a bad decision made, uh, denial and error and judgment, um, someone feared change in their life going from being maybe a single person and having the freedom to date to committing or connecting in a deep love but I feel like whoever this person is the intuitive thread that is running through their blood <laughs> like it encompasses all of their body is that you are their true love here And they're trusting this now. They're trusting. They're believing this. They may have known it before. And there is a possibility that for some of you, um, okay, like I said, it could be you. You could be having this, wanting to have this conversation too. But there's a possibility that somebody wasn't ready to acknowledge or accept it, that the true love was really there. Okay, what else is there going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation? What else is going to be revealed? I, I definitely feel like there's going to be a revelation of feelings from one person to another. True loving feelings. What else is going to be revealed here? Okay. All right, the Five of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Um, somebody's going to say that I feel like I wasn't getting enough attention. Um, that I wasn't the main priority or the focus. I wasn't someone's ambition. It, they, I feel like somebody's going to say I felt left out in the cold a lot or I left, was left out in the dark, or uh, I just felt like I had to beg and steal love from you, you know, vice versa. Um, I feel like someone's going to express that they felt uncertain about the outcome or where the relationship was going, and they entertained another person because they didn't feel... Um, at home with the other person and also someone wants to repair all of that and fix all of that which is the eight of pentacles in the reverse okay oh it's a big revelation um okay Somebody has um, definitely reached emperor status, masculine or feminine energy, uh, taking accountability and responsibility for their role in the relationship. Um, this is about self-respect and planning a future together, okay? Dignity, integrity. Someone's going to say, I acted out of integrity, and that is not who I am. Someone's going to say, I reacted to a lack of attention and love and, and, and focus on the relationship. Um, and taking accountability and responsibility for that, where I feel like someone says, I was wrong. That is not who I am. I should not have reacted in those ways. We should have sat down and talked about stuff. Okay. So let me see what else the conversation will be. Okay, there's regret. 
Someone feels like they've missed the greatest opportunity of a lifetime with another person. And I feel like they don't want to... Oh, they just gave me a song. Oh, I don't want to miss it again. Wait, I, I can't... I kind of hear it. It's not... It's very faint. I don't... It's something like... I don't know if it's a country song... I don't want to lose that opportunity. I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss out. Someone feels like um, they're never going to have an opportunity for love with their true love or find their true love. <laughs> they're very positive. Someone is very, very positive that things can turn around. And the way they believe that it will turn around is to actually have a face-to-face heart-to-heart conversation involving vulnerability opening up and expressing how they truly feel okay what is the outcome for this situation this relationship okay eight of wands in the reverse Well, there's definitely going to be some problems ahead to work through, okay? And I feel like um, things won't move quickly. Things will move very slowly in having uh, an opportunity to repair things. It's not going to be an overnight Everything is admitted and now we're back on track and everything's perfect and skittles and rainbows. No. The outcome is there's going to be a rebuilding of trust that's going to have to take place between two people. This feels to me like two people who really don't fully trust one another and probably at one point blamed each other for why they did what they did instead of standing in their core beliefs and values with integrity and saying you know if one person makes a bad decision the other person doesn't own it they just say well that's your decision or that's my decision you know the emperor is someone who owns their decisions they own their mistakes the emperor is not someone who blames or finds reasons why they can't do something when they know that they can. The emperor comes forward fully in their core of who they are and never lets anyone tell them how to behave or how not to behave. The emperor is not a demanding person. The emperor is commands respect just by being present and self-respecting. The emperor does not apologize for other people's mistakes. The emperor allows other people to learn from their own mistakes. And I feel like there's a shift in the energy here in this reading, or if it's you that I'm talking to in your relationship, where two people are looking at themselves and saying, you know, I, I messed up. I messed up really bad and I want to repair this. I don't want to miss. I don't want to lose. You. I can't remember. The song keeps coming up and if I if I can remember it, I'll post it in the comments like I'll pin it. But I but I can't remember. I keep feeling like Rascal Flats, but maybe you guys will know. I I'm not even sure, but I just feel like there's a beautiful opportunity here for love, but it required some growth, some serious growth. And serious growth and healing happen when we self-reflect. It's, you know, serious growth happens when we can, like, sit down with ourselves. And you'll know when you've made a mistake because you'll feel a little lump in your throat of remorse. Not regret. Remorse. Regret is felt in the pit of your stomach, you know, that's a sinking feeling. But remorse, that's a little different. Remorse is kind of like a, a lump in the throat, maybe a feeling of shame. And when you feel that, 
when you think about a, a, a situation, and I'm just speaking to you, Virgo, here, when you feel that, that's a sign that that's something right there that you have to heal, okay? When you feel, a, a, it doesn't matter the depth, the slight of, sh of, of shame or a feeling of, not guilt, it's not guilt, it's just a sense of like inner shame, like someone saying, I shouldn't have said that to that person, or I shouldn't have acted on that, or I should not have done that, that is not who I am, and um, it's a sense of feeling like, feeling remorseful for hurting another person. This is not just you, of course, Virgo. This is also another person or both. And I feel like this energy is playing out here and feeling that lump and saying, okay, that's the area right there that I need to work on. That's the area that I need to work on, that I need to be better at. Okay. So there is, you know, I'm surprised judgment hasn't shown up here because when the judgment card shows up, that's always a sign of, um, well, we have justice. So <laughs> there's, there's definitely truth coming out and making something right, making things right. Even if it's not to end up together, it's, okay, now they're giving me an another song, um, Forgiveness by Don Henley. I'm really dating myself here. Um, that's such a beautiful song. Oh my gosh. Forgiveness. Yeah. So if you know that song and you're in the zone right now with me with this reading, maybe take a listen to that. That's a real oldie, but, um, very potent theme song for the reading right now. And, and that other song, I don't know what it is. Um, so we've got justice here. So there is definitely an energy here of, um, a win-win solution after the truth comes out. I do feel like there will be, a, for a small percentage of you, not all of you, a small, I'm going to say that it's very small, like 15% of you listening are going to have an opportunity here with your true love to heal and be make things right right and just okay um but i do feel like it's gonna take time to rebuild the trust yep two of wands there's hope on the horizon here definitely um there's an opportunity you know to look out on to well, they keep giving me the horizon, and I know this isn't a card about the horizon, but it is a card about future planning. This is an energy of standing at the crossroads and making a decision and saying, you know, how to go about this, how to do this. And I, I do feel like there is someone who's thinking about you, um, standing on a balcony, looking out into the sea or the mountains and thinking about you and you might be doing the same then they just told me two people looking at the moon at the same time you both share a moon so you're connected that way you both share a moon when the moon comes up this is specific when the moon maybe you had a conversation on the phone or went out and looked at the moon together or we're at different places but um, somebody's waiting for the moon to come up so they can see you. <laughs> That's weird. That's a really weird message. But you both share the same moon. And you both have that connection to the moon. So there is something here about looking at the moon together. Um, maybe not even realizing it. Okay. So transformation and change. Beautiful with the death card. There's definitely an ending to past, past rotation, that's for sure. Um, and also an ending to, to immaturity, an ending to this breakup and coming back together. Yes, Virgo, I feel that this message is very strong for that, you know? There's a heck of a lot of um, self-actualization, actualization, 
I can't talk, self-actualization happening here, okay? Um, and it's deep, <laughs> Virgo. It's deep. Um, I want to see what this what this person would, could tell you if they could speak to you right now, or at least what their hidden truths are and how they were feeling. Oh, wow. Yeah, they know that you guys will be together again, even if it's just a talk. They don't have any guarantees that you guys are going to make it through. But they do know that you and, and they um, will have an opportunity to, ch to to chit chat at some point um could be years from now it could be this month but they're very positive about that um when all else is said and done they hope that you can forgive them one day and and again virgo like i said this works both ways you, the roles could be reversed both of you at the same time is really what i feel like is going on here um forgiveness Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting, okay? Um, because when someone breaks your trust, you know, there's an old saying, trust but verify. You know, you don't want to go in blind. You can trust, but you need to verify with people. And if, you, if, if two people feel like they've hurt each other, there has to be forgiveness and it has to be put in the past and change needs to be made in order to progress the relationship to a better place if there's a coming back together. Um, but it starts with forgiveness, it starts with saying, you know, okay, this person really messed up. Um, and, and I can forgive them for that because we're all human and human makes make mistakes. But the question is, can I forget? Am, am I able to get past? Are we able to rebuild? Things can be rebuilt if two people want it, want it to. You know, the, you'll never fully forget we never fully forget betrayals, ever. They lessen as time goes by, hopefully if we're healing and, we're, and we're, we're getting ourselves in a better place. If not, we're holding on to resentment and then we have a reservation and that will never go away unless we work through that. But it, there is an energy of hoping for forgiveness and that coming together at some point will include that in the future. Okay, I look for you everywhere. All right, so two people seeking each other out, looking for each other still, or one. Let me see what else is going on here. Um, there's definitely an energy of somebody here like you are not forgotten. Even though there was a letting go. Virgo, if you let this person go, you need to know that it was very hard for them to let you go, okay? And if they let you go first, <laughs> they suffered for that. I feel like there's this made a bad decision energy here, okay? Yep. You both came closer to each other than anyone else romantically in your pasts. And that is why I feel like this person is getting these intuitive downloads that you are their true love, that you are meant for them, that you are perfect for each other, that you both at one time decided to be together out of love and nothing else. I mean, yeah, the attraction was there. Yeah, the flirting and you know, the camaraderie and all that stuff. But this was a heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul connection here. You know, and of course, Virgo, you know, like I always say, you know, if you want it to be healed, yes, it can be healed. If you're in doubt and you don't know what to do, then don't do anything until you get your download and you're sure about if you need to take action or not. Because if you have to ask if you should or shouldn't, then that means that you shouldn't, right? Um, because if you're not holding true in any decisions you're making going forward in your life, whether romantically or anything, you could wind up with regret. So be patient and wait until you get the sign. 
about whether or not it's time to heal. Sometimes things just, people just need to marinate, and I feel like there's a marinating happening here of self reflection and realization of things. And it's really important to allow that process to happen. Because even if you and or this person or both of you decide not to retrieve the relationship and move forward together, there will always be a period of looking back on the relationship and saying, you know, putting it into perspective. Maybe I made the wrong choice. Or, you know, maybe I wasn't really in love with this person like I thought I was, you know. But there's always a lesson in, in, in a relationship, past relationships, enough time goes by, and trust me when I tell you, I mean, if you're someone in your 20s or your 30s listening to this, or maybe even younger, you know, once you get over into your 50s, there's a real hardcore like, wow, um, trust me, I promise, lessons will be learned, that's the energy of becoming wise, right, um, so let me see, oh, what your moon pie messages are here okay you've got a new love start so the opportunity i feel like is going to come um, right now it's delayed because there's you know the birds cooking in the oven it's not ready ready to come out timer hasn't popped yet but it will come and you have <laughs> it's crazy so Obviously, there's a my personal cards that I created, but boom, lightning strikes once, maybe twice. There's a lyric um, from an old Stevie Nicks song called Gypsy, and that's the lyric in there. Lightning strikes once, maybe twice. Lightning is going to strike again. <laughs> there was a huge lightning strike when you and this person connected for both of you. Both felt it at the same time. Don't doubt that from the other person. It sent a ripple effect into your life. This relationship changed a lot of who you are. And it was, from what I see, difficult. Bittersweet. They're giving me bittersweet. But after every storm comes the washing away. Things may seem or have seemed to be very chaotic it may all have been for the good okay so i feel like there's another song for you <laughs> oh lusty fiery spirit in the reverse okay well there was a real strong connection in that way with this person i mean you guys might have been like totally on fire for each other and <clears throat> that has kind of died down right now because you guys are in separation, but trust me, <laughs> the minute you two uh, look into each other's eyes or see each other's faces or the forgiveness starts and the joy and the positivity come back, that energy is going to come back full force. So be careful, watch out, because that's a really powerful, <clears throat> it's very powerful, it's almost cathartic, the, the physical between the two of you. And that's not a bad thing. That's a beautiful thing. That's rare to have that with someone. Two people to have that for each other. That's rare. To feel it at the same time towards each other. All right. Let me get a couple of Chinese signs and see what your messages are here. Who you're. It could be you and or, and or it could be the other person. Um, I really didn't pop out too much in the way of zodiac signs. If you want them, I will tell you that we have an air sign. We have a fire sign to start okay um that does mean um all right major arcana libra also okay i said that we have aries pisces possible cancer and yeah but we're not oh and scorpio here with the death card so i don't want you to get stuck too much on the zodiac sign okay if this reading is resonating for you and you're like yep then it's for you and that's your person okay year of the pig okay year of the snake year of the dragon year of the ox year of the monkey 
Year of the Tiger, Year of the Rooster, and Year of the Dog. Okay. All right, let me get some charms. All right, you guys. So we have Scorpio here and double Scorpio, Capricorn, and Aries. Okay. And you also have, all right, September 19th, September 12th, September 2nd, September 4th, September 6th, September 16th. Also, August 24th, August 29th. Okay, and someone's born in 1970. All right. Okay, hmm, so we've got, so it looks like we're going to do area codes 310, <clears throat> 808, 808. One zero and zero one one area codes, country codes, whatever you want to call it, and see if we can figure out some years and ages. Oh my goodness, I need to get like more quieter. <coughs> okay, all right, someone is twenty nine. Um, Okay. Someone has a 16 year old. Also, we've got someone who is 48. Someone's okay. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, um, age 54, age 58. Okay, 2009, significant year. Um, And they're giving me um, August 1954. So I guess that's a birth date. And let me see. Okay. 20016. And also 8410. Okay put those aside and get a couple of charms for you guys you know what i'm gonna stop and give you a couple of names or qualifiers real quick well the thing's showing up here okay all right there's a child who's trying to say hi to you right now child who is trying to say hi to you or get your attention right now um he or she keeps saying hi hi or they're doing something or you're getting messages from them they're trying to say hello okay um all right so all right they're giving me g8 i don't know what that means g8 gate okay Someone's working on a gate, or there's a gate, a gateway, a gate, something to do with a gate. Okay. All right, now they're telling me HDMI, HDMI. So if that resonates for you, there's something there. I don't know what that means. Um, someone is born January 1984, they're just saying, and someone's in the Air Force. Okay. Huh, that's interesting. All right, so I'm hearing, I am your king and you are my queen. I am your king and you are my queen. OK. 
Okay. And either you you or someone just woke up from a nap or is going to lay down, take a nap, or has fallen asleep listening to this video, <laughs> this reading. And... Okay, they're giving me two pence, two pence. And I'm also getting pics, P-I-X, like pictures, pics. Well, I'm getting, it's, well, it could be P-I-C-S, but I'm also getting P-I-X, pics. And let me see. All right, I'm hearing the name Zhu, H. Z U, I guess is how you pronounce or spell it, or Z U, Zhu. I think it's H Z U. I see H Z U here. Okay. And two people I, I'm envisioning, they talk on Zoom. Two people use Zoom a lot or have in the past or someone uses Zoom, talks through Zoom. Give me some names. What are the names? All right. So we've got the letter S, initials S. We also have initial V as in Victor or Victoria. S is in Sam or Oh, okay, that's Shem or Shemp, Shem, S H E M, Shem. That's all I'm seeing is Shem. Seamus, maybe? Shell, Shelly? Okay. Oh, okay. So they're giving me Roxanne or Rocky. Roxanne or Rocky. Roxanne, you don't have to put on the red light. You know what, you guys? I'm so 80s. They're like burned in my brain like an old jukebox player. <laughs> Let me see. And also, we have the initials H. H and M. Oh, isn't that a store? H&M. Maybe somebody's in H&M or you're in a store <laughs> shopping or uh, ham and mashed potatoes. I don't know. Hey, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. So cabbage and ham, maybe cooking it or going to be eating it if you celebrate. <clears throat> okay, Zach. All right, let me see. Argentina and yeah very strong Argentina vibes I'm getting and I'm also getting um, oh it just went away oh it just went away hold on all right hold on let me try to get back Argentina and then was it Alabama maybe okay now they're telling me no 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 Argyle Argyle Oh, they just throw these words out at me, and I wish I could decipher what they mean, but when you're channeling, I'm just a conduit for a message. I just keep getting Argentina. Okay, now they're showing me a pirate with an eye patch that says Arg. <laughs> Arg. <laughs> I don't know if somebody does that. Why are you showing me a pirate? I don't even know. Um, maybe it's the Caribbean. I don't even know. Uh, let me just get one more because they're saying um, they're not finished. All right. <laughs> and get another. Crazy messages today. Okay. 
oh well you know they're they're running that pirate vibe because here's a map so i don't know what's going on here um hold on hold on hold on oh okay us or us us united states or there's something about us all right us there we go now they're saying usc usc what does that mean usc or usmc oh usmc is that the marines so it's either usc usc or usmc it's both so whichever resonates for you all right you guys i'm gonna leave your messages there oodles of fun today and um yeah you guys i'll be here on sunday don't forget for um the q a mini readings right pop in i'll be live streaming at 1 p.m eastern on the 19th here on my channel pop in ask your question you don't have to donate to ask the question, although I will say those who donate with the Super Chat will get answered first, but I will also try to get everybody else's as well, depending on how long I'm here. Um, you can donate whatever you want. You can donate $1.99. You can donate $199. Whatever you want to do, it's totally up to you. I'll answer definitely all the Super Chats and anybody else who pops in. If when I get the Super Chats out of the way, I'll try to get your question answered as well. But that's kind of like a um a lottery so to speak all right so definitely show up though <clears throat> all right you guys so good long 50 minute reading i hope that you enjoyed that i hope that it gave you some insight if you're not sure or you need to listen to it again put it in your save playlist and come back and listen to it again all right you guys so i will <clears throat> excuse me lose my voice here and um yeah if anybody can tell me what that's rascal flats i think it's rascal flats or maybe it, or it's Aerosmith. I don't want to, I forget the words. It's something about missing a chance or something like that. If you know it, let me know because I'd like to go listen to that. Even I can hear some of it in my head, but not all of it. Um, it's very faint. All right, you guys, love you very much. And I will see you back here next time.